Hello, kings and queens. Guess what? I have been stricken with a double whammy. I have been diagnosed with COVID and pneumonia. I wasn't even aware um, that I had COVID or pneumonia due to the simple fact that I have sarcoidosis and COPD. And what happens is with COPD and the sarcoidosis, <coughs> the symptoms mimic each other. So, I wouldn't have known unless something drastically changed within my body. <coughs> <coughs> so, I got tested for COVID. Because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have it. Because like I said, I was doing a lot of coughing, a lot of coughing. So I so I was like, well, let me just go ahead and take the, the test. You know, uh, better safe than better safe than be sorry. So when I got my results, I was taken back. And I was like, am I reading what I'm reading accurately? So I called a few people and I was like, is this positive? So they was like, yes. They was like, yes. And I'm not gonna lie. You know, I, I panicked. Um, I was worried. <coughs> I panicked. I was worried. I was stressed. I was anxious. And I just had to get myself together. I actually had to pull over on the side of the road. Because I had a, had an emotional breakdown because I was concerned about going to sleep and if I went to sleep was I gonna pass away because I hear so much and like I said I panicked you know like I said my body was tired I was dozing off and like I said I, I panicked and I was only thing that was going through my head was if I, if I go to sleep, I might, I might pass away because I'm coughing. I'm already short of breath. I've been diagnosed with COVID. I got sarcoidosis. I got COPD. I was like, oh, my God. You know, what am I going to do? What's going to happen to me? So I got myself together, you know. And took my tail to the doctor. I got myself together and took my tail back to a doctor to get a second opinion. And that's when I went to patient first. And got a, um, got myself checked, examined. I got an x-ray. They um, did another COVID test and, you know, it was confirmed that I had COVID and, uh, you know, fluid in my lungs, um, pneumonia. So, that's what's going on with me. So, like I said, 
I didn't know. So please, 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 please take care of yourselves. Take care of your bodies. Any symptoms, any new symptoms, you know, if you lost your taste, you know, if you got a dry cough, body aches, diarrhea, please go get tested. Go get tested to make sure you're okay. Please. I want you all to know it is so imperative. It is so imperative, kings and queens, to keep your mask on all day. Stay away from large crowds, especially if they don't have their mask on. We don't know where your family and friends been. You don't know who they've been exposed to. Please protect yourself. COVID is real, okay? It's out there and people are getting extremely sick because, because of it. And we're also losing loved ones. So don't take COVID lightly. Take it seriously. Make sure you're washing your hands daily. Not just daily, out. Wash your hands throughout the day. <coughs> Wash your hands. If you can wear gloves, uh, wear gloves, especially if you're working in public places. Make sure you're staying three to six feet distance away from people because you all don't you all don't want to be sick it's, it's no um walk in a park <coughs> um <coughs> if one was to ask me well stay stays where did you contract it at i would i would i would honestly have to say i don't know I haven't been um, going to many places, um, to be honest. But like I said before, I assumed that the symptoms that I was having was from my COPD and sarcoidosis. What I will tell you all is people probably walking around asymptomatic, not knowing that they even have COVID. So y'all have to be careful. Please be careful because you all don't want to get COVID and take this sickness home to your family. Like right now, and I'm worried about my family, especially Kiara, she has autism and she don't know how to verbally express herself the way, the way she should. So right now I'm isolated in a room self-quarantining um, alone <laughs> in which I should be um, right now I'm in a lot of pain <coughs> I'm in a lot of pain I have a runny nose my chest is on fire my chest hurts so bad my chest hurt I'm doing a lot of coughing my chest is sore I'm running a slight fever. I had a, I have a headache. I have body aches. And my body is so exhausted. I am extremely tired. And I'm frustrated. And I'm a little angry as well. Because it seems like it's always something right after the next, right after the next. But kings and queens, I'm just coming to you all today just to share light. Oh, I'm kind of short of breath too. <clears throat> so.
So listen, kings and queens, please take care of yourself. Take care of your family, especially with, when you have underlying, underlying conditions, such as myself. You all take care of yourself. Mask up, mask up. If you haven't been vaccinated, I know you have those that's not sure or many say, well, if I get vaccinated, I still can catch it. Well, I've been vaccinated. I even got the booster, but maybe my symptoms would have been worse. I don't know, but it wouldn't hurt if you got vaccinated because if you do catch COVID, maybe the symptoms won't be as bad. But to each his own, I'm not here to judge one way or the other. But what I do want you all to do is take care of yourselves. <coughs> take care of yourself, take care of your bodies. Drink plenty of fluids, mask up, I can't say that enough. Mask up, mask up, mask up. Keep your hands washed throughout the day. Keep your hands out of your face. Stay away from large crowds. And if they don't have no mask on, you need to flee the scene as soon as possible. Because like I said, you don't know who been around who who has been exposed, who is um, asymptomatic, you just don't know. So protect yourself, protect your loved ones. And I'm going to sign out, kings and queens. I love you and have a good day.